Okay, I picked the camera up because something fun just happened. We had somebody stop by and they have something really unique and different. And we thought this would be great to share because we've yet to see it in the RV space. So let's introduce you. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. This is what it's all about. RV life shows up with new and exciting things. <laughs> so we're gonna let him introduce himself and talk about his business, why he's at Champions Run, because that's where we're at, right? We yep. came to Champions Run because Sheila, you found some great we, RV Well, park. we were looking for a spot, obviously, for our second trip, we were like, okay, we still need to figure out some space, a good easy to back in, you needed some extra space. And when we were driving by, <laughs> we're like, Wow, now that is cool. And we met Drake, and this is his cool cyber So truck. tell everyone who you are, because this is like a first. Like, nobody's really seen this. So mm -hmm. we, we're going to be drinking from a fire hose right. a little bit. <laughs> yes. Learning about just the cyber truck. Maybe ask some questions. Can it tow? Can it tow mm -hmm. actually a, an RV? And he absolutely owns an RV dealership here. Works out perfect. Okay, so, introduce. Like I said, my name's Drake. I own, a little, I own an RV dealership group called Village RV. We have a location here in Ocala. We have a location in St. Augustine. We just opened up. Oh, cool. Our slogan is the home of no fees. We don't charge a single fee. No dealer fee, oh. no dock fee, no prep fee. I don't believe in doing business like that. I'd rather just, you know what you're getting, come and get it and have a straight up experience. Okay. So that's how I operate. As far as this, I, I sold my home. I actually had two pieces of property. <laughs> I sold them both and I was homeless. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go live in an RV park and experience a little bit more. <laughs> Not even though I've been doing this since I was 16. But. We are so happy to hear that because we joke all the time where we say, why don't people who own RV dealerships or RV parks never RV? Have I ever, do. I've yeah. been yeah. RVing now, the whole now life. there he is, yeah, absolutely. right? Now you know. I tow I tow with my cyber truck. Oh yeah, yeah, I we'll do that. Cyber truck. I go camping. I've been going out to a place called Hogwaller. We've actually been talking about that. My whole life I go camping out in Jenny Springs. We're in Central Florida. You've got to camp if you live in Central Florida. But why did you want a yes. cyber truck? Why well, don't I want to say that? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It, you know, the thing is, is I'm a techie person. I like Tesla. I'm just a Tesla driver. Okay. And it's hard, it was hard because every, I, this is, you're, you might laugh at me, but anytime I tow with anything other than my Tesla, I leave it on. I don't turn it off because I'm not used to turning off a vehicle. I get in and out of my truck. It just stays on. and It is what it is. Huh. It unlocks. It locks itself. I never we, knew that. So I got my dad into Tesla recently. He now has a little Model Y. He's had it for like a year. We went on a cruise maybe six months ago. We get back to find the car completely out of gas, key in the ignition, turned on, because we're just so in that mind frame where you just get in and get out. So it, it being able to now combine <laughs> Wait, that. He left it running? He you, left his car running the whole time? It wasn't even his car. Oh. <laughs> So you're telling me you don't have to turn your car off? No. I didn't know that. This does everything. Oh, you, we're going to welcome you to the future today. Oh. <laughs> oh. To the I think we're doing well on the future, Drake. I think <laughs> no, we're doing well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, got, yeah, got yeah, but this is a little gas guzzler in comparison to this. Oh. Yes. Fun fact. You don't know this. I don't. There is a company in Canada right now called Edison Motors. They are taking and converting wonderful big trucks. Mm -hmm. They're actually taking them, making all electric, and how they do it is as they put, you can look this up, it's pretty cool. They're putting like a Cummins generator on the front that charges the batteries, and yeah. then they take off. And they just got, in Canada, they just got approved, and they're gonna start. Interesting. So Edison Motors, see, so we're, at, we're, I'm uh, futuristic. Not yet. <laughs> We're going to take them cyber. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, you, there's a lot of cool Like That's just one of the few, one of the many cool things. You that, never turn your car off? No. There's a lot of things I don't ever do. I mean, you don't, you don't think about it. I don't even really, rarely ever put my car in park. It does it for you. What? What? I don't even, I couldn't tell you the last time I shifted it into drive at a parking You're going to forget how to drive. I do. <laughs> I do. And, you know, actually, to, the one feature that, to this, because this is so new, uh, I'm, I've driven probably four or five hundred thousand miles on Teslas and I've become very, very used to having autopilot and full self-driving. Yeah. 
Wow. Most people don't understand, but those technologies are life changing. Like, it is amazing. Imagine, you know, pilots say when you're flying across the ocean, right, right, right. you don't sit there and hold the yoke right, right. the whole time. You set it on autopilot and you monitor. On the, that's what I do in my Tesla. I set it on autopilot and I just monitor it. It's relaxing, peaceful. This doesn't have that yet. So I am 10 and 2, baby. I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is coming. It's all over the air software updates, but they need to get it on so the road. You got to update your your truck. That's the best thing about it. It gets better with ownership. <laughs> That's fantastic. Every every Tesla I've ever had was better the day I sold it than the day I bought it. Because they're just constantly doing Absolutely. updates. They're, they're, and they're not looking for oh this one's three years old. We're gonna stop updating this one. They're going to give it everything it got. So just Well, how do you even get in the darn thing? So that's what I was going to show you first. It's glass right here. Okay. So I'll let you, do, you you can go ahead you and just, start aside. You just, just touch... push on the button. Okay. And then grab the rubber and pull the door open. <laughs> now this door, now this is a solid truck. This is <laughs> This is this is meant to be tough. This is an actual <laughs> tough truck. Dude, he just got a brand new cyber truck and he's beating on. If it wasn't wrapped, I if it wasn't wrapped, I'd kick. Well, it. wait, 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 Drake. Share with them. You were one of the first ten. Well, I was well, in, the, yeah, in that in that first customers. production run. Yeah, regular. so we got. I got real lucky. The order I had was from December eighth, which was the first night they released pre-orders, and I was selected. I got my VIN number January fifteenth, and I was able to drop fly to California and pick it up. So, so yeah, you're looking at one of the very first ones that yeah, have actually this, been in the road. It's. Uh, I've put eighty eight hundred miles on it, so I've I've rode it hard and put it away wet. I'm I've, ah. I got it to use it. You just and, beat uh, it. So let yeah. me. The, the, I've seen videos on people hitting it with baseball bats and all and kinds of the bat. Things. Yeah, but you'd mess up your wrap. We don't yes, want to mess up the oh, wrap. Oh, no, 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 no. I love That's the flap. Only hands. Only hands. Yeah, the wrap, the yeah. mat Yeah, some people I won't like the, the wrap I aspect, but we do. We I actually do love it. Mm -hmm. Me too. And you can change. It's nice. If you have a change in heart and you want to do something different, Absolutely. peel that wrap off and put something different you on. just switch it up, do something different. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you see what she did there? She did a switch Switch it up. It up. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Right under my head. I got that. I like that one. That was good. All right, so aspects. Let's let's find out how far will it go on a charge. Yeah, got it. So it'll go 318 miles on a charge. The way it stands, that's not towing. That's just regular driving. Okay. Um, they are towards the end of this year, which I've already put a deposit down. So it's actually coming. A battery extender that's going to take up one third of your bed is going to raise that range from 318 to 470. Wow! So it's going to substantially. How long does it take you to charge once you like if you're just driving across the country? So that's a common. Uh, I get the. Uh, these are the questions I get everywhere I go today with the Cybertruck. Everybody wants to ask ask that yeah. type of question. And the biggest common mis misconception I get is that you're going to be stuck at a charging right. network mm -hmm. for an hour or two. Mm -hmm. no. Never in a million years do I say that on a trip, especially. You're you're gonna charge between 10 and 80 percent of ba battery state of charge. To go from 10 to 80 percent shouldn't take you more than 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, oh. so it's like it, us stopping for a gas. Exactly. So our, the re the reality is, that I drive for two and a half to three hours, and I stop for 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, that's you know? the normal anyway, because you're stopping to use the bathroom, grabbing a right. drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. It, it's so it's normal, and it and it's it, it drives for you. It's safe. It's comfortable. It, this thing drives like a Porsche with the speed of, of, of a Hellcat. But it tows like a truck. No, you know? Sheila. He said the speed. Okay, wait, wait. I know she loves her fast vehicles. I know I if you're new to the channel, she's Sheila's bad. had oh. Lexus RCFs. She's had BMWs. She had a wonderful Corvette ZR. So I mean, she's had. And you've never driven a Tesla. No. No. Yeah. And so this she she loves fast. Oh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> can like let's think RV life okay. because sure. this yes. is new. Of course. Could it ever be flat towed? Like. Could, as a tow oh. vehicle, because the problem is, is it's got hubs and electric motors, Cannot, and it, I, so I, I, I know there's some te there's some people have done that to like add charge to the regenerative braking power of the battery, but I don't believe, and I, I haven't done the research on the Cybertruck. If that, if that's the case, it'd be new. I don't believe that you can flat tow a Tesla okay. like that. Okay, see, these are questions, and but since you own you, an RV dealership, you actually understand these yes, questions for sure, absolutely. But can you tow? travel trailer oh yeah, yeah what's absolutely. the towing capacity do you know the towing so, capacity? I, yeah so i've actually i probably towed more than anybody else's towed with the cyber truck because i went over 
So the towing capacity on the Cybertruck is technically 11,000 pounds. Oh, wow. Which That's is strong. Stronger right? than I thought Way it would Way strong. Be. Yeah. I had, we were setting up the Ocala RV show about a month ago. And I just said, they were, we had a big 40-foot destination sandpiper. I, I'll send you guys a video of it you can oh, show. Oh, wow. I, of me towing it. It, I, it was a 40-foot destination, weighs about 13.2. Yeah. I hooked it up and towed it there like a dream. Nuh -uh. Oh, it was amazing. Okay, but battery usage. Yeah, so everyone's going to be sitting there yeah. like so, battery usage. So here's straight. the thing. I, you don't buy the Cybertruck for long haul. No, time. yeah, I it's get it. It's not meant for that. But for me, where I live, I'm about 40, 50 miles from taking my boat out. I'm about 40, 50 yes. miles from going camping. Yeah. Right. As far as towing goes, you're, you're going to cut it in half on average. If you're going something over six or 7,000 pounds and it's super not aerodynamic. Right, right. Right, like right. a boat or something is not really shaped right, you know, you're gonna get anywhere between 110 to 130 you gotta, miles. You gotta sh can I? Can I look? Can, can you I look? look? Yes. Oh. What are you looking at? <laughs> this is awesome. I love this thing. I was like, man, am I ready to pull the trigger? This thing is what you, sweet. How's it looking first? It's sick, man. I love the wrap. <laughs> so I love the wrap. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Vicky, you don't mind my stuff. I keep my uh, I keep my Starlink right there. Uh, so I, I, I actually have a mount coming. My Starlink is gonna mount right on the back. Oh, so it's gonna be a permanent wow. Starlink. Now, like I said, you know, I use this thing. I got my oh, yeah. inflatable uh, boat uh, seats there. So where's the front camera? Oh, there's the front. Camera. That's the front camera. Is that as deep as I thought it would be? Oh, there's Nope, no, they, they focus on interior space. Yeah. What in the, why, why? In case you need to be cooked. Yeah. It's a truck. Drag it's a truck. Out of the mud, man. If you either get stuck or someone, or you, if someone else gets stuck, you need to pull them out. And so you're saying that if I got stuck in the mud, say I got my Bronco stuck in the mud. <laughs> I got you. You got me. I would, my first instinct would be to look for a Ford. F-150, <laughs> but you're saying that the Tesla could pull me out. Oh, the yeah, Tesla has more torque. More yeah, I, well, I'll, I'll, just so we're clear on film, you got to air your tires down. There's been a few videos okay. of Cybertrucks getting stuck yeah. because they had the tires all the way inflated. And if you're going to go off road, you got to deflate your Just tires. like you do if you yeah. go to the dunes so, or something same thing. like that. So, Absolutely. My yeah. goodness. This, I've already been in multiple This scenarios. just wouldn't be my first thought. I'd be like, oh, yeah, call the Cybertruck. It can help me. Exactly. <laughs> That's my first thought. <laughs> awesome. Love it, brother. It Thank, Thank you, you for letting us inspect it. Absolutely. So I'm pretty interesting. This uses two That's horsepower. So big. Oh, yeah. That's you. That's the size of you. Big in Texas. <laughs> this is built in oh Austin, Texas. This is the most American made vehicle ever. Uh, two horsepower here. Uh, so, this is the first. There's a couple firsts for this vehicle that you might not have known. This is the first ever low voltage 48 volt system. There's zero 12 volt in this truck. Okay. So that even every other Tesla in the world well, has a 12 volt battery. Have fun. Thank you guys. Bye. Um, every vehicle in the world has either a six volt or 12 volt battery. In the 60s or 70s, they went from six volt to 12 volt because they had a lot more electronics coming. Yeah, yeah. Now we have way more electronics, but we're still on 12 volt because most manufacturers and can't link up with suppliers and get the tools they need to make a 48 volt production vehicle. So Elon went ahead and did it, made the Cybertruck 48 volt, and then put together a whole information like a book that says how to manufacture a 48 volt vehicle and send it to every CEO of Ford, GM, Toyota, and the, uh, Jim Farley with Ford confirmed that. Uh, and that's something that just, t Tesla's outside of the box. They're gonna take it to the next yeah, level. Elon's the dude you don't tell you you can't do something. Like a big Bingo, guy, exactly, right? yes. So could I, if I had a Cybertruck, could I charge it with enough solar power on my rig? I believe so, do you, yeah. I, you would have to get the right connector on your, right, so. Right. There's a company building a, and uh, not the, because this is all gonna come back to you. Uh, it's called uh, Pebble Flow. Uh, they're building a new like EV, uh, a new RV geared towards EV drivers. Oh wow! Um, huh. It's gonna have an EV. It's gonna have actual battery pack. It's gonna be able to. It's gonna have a, a system called Magic. Hitch. We're we're breaking ground here. Like yeah. this is breaking it's news. What? It's called Pebble Flow. Okay. I have one. So okay. the, uh, their website is PebbleLife.com. They, they, it's guys that were, I think, working for Apple and Tesla and RV guys. They went camping and they realized this is not the kind of experience we were expecting. Let's make one. So they built their own RV. It will actually go and hitch onto your truck for you with the, with its own power, oh, wow. power train. Where are they 
out of? Uh, they're gonna be. They're made in California. Okay. Uh, so I, I ordered it the second I could because I wanted to get just of to have one of the did. dealers. <laughs> of course, yeah. So and it has a battery system though to where it will help self propel, so you're not bleeding range off of the battery pack in your oh. truck. You follow yeah, me? Yeah. Airstream's trying to do that, and I believe Winnebago is also trying to do that. Uh, but Pebble Flow is is, is kind of taking it to the next level. Back to what you talking about your RV. The reason I bring them up is they're gonna have that. Uh, they that when they announced it was a CCS. I'm sure now that everybody's going to the NACS Tesla connector. Right. It will be that. But assuming that you could install a wall connector yeah. or a uh, or a 50 amp outlet to or a 30 amp or whatever it is, you should absolutely be able to charge the, your electric vehicle on the solar. Because I know you have a ton of solar on yours. Well, yeah, we we don't have we didn't make that with the whole design, like the spacecraft they did like two years ago had like 10,000 watts of solar. He put in this amazing system to charge his electric car. I saw that. Yeah. We are only rocking like 30 kilowatts, um, which is a lot of batteries from Enduro power batteries. Yeah, so, but we're only rocking about 3,000 watts of solar on top. Our because, goal is to boondock. Yeah, and for so here, doing how, some. There's just the, this out there, that's where something like this could help you is because you can boondock. This can run your RV for three days. This is a 123 kilowatt hour battery. And I didn't think of that aspect. I didn't either. So the way, you know, for me, if, like I do RV shows or I go camping and do something, I can run my RV off of it right here with the 50 amp NEMA 1540 and then go charge a truck at a supercharger and bring it right back. Oh my goodness. So with the, you, know, you, you, you said, bro, you have 30 something kilowatts yeah. of battery. This is 123 kilowatt hours of battery that if you're boondocking, you just plug right into the truck. And then the nice thing is you don't have to move that big rig to go plug in or do something, you right. can just take your truck, go plug it into the supercharger, bring it back, back run your RV for three more days. So you're right. saying, Boy, this is a, just a big battery bank. We exactly. could just use the battery bank. It, if that's what you need it your, for. Your truck is a charger. <laughs> your yeah. truck is the charger. The truck, <laughs> absolutely. They, that's a different spin on is. RV life because. I didn't think about that for you guys. That's because someone with a big RV who doesn't want to go necessarily have to move it or yeah. park in a spot where they have charge and silent. Nope. Yeah, uh, it is silent. Nothing. You probably don't hear nothing in yours. But crazy. Well, the truck is pretty loud. Mm -hmm. Oh, that truck. Yeah, that truck yes. is. Yeah. And huh. It's, and it's we call it, I and mean, we've been calling it Mac the Turtle, but I have a feeling that this truck is not hey. a turtle. <laughs> I was thinking Mac Daddy. <laughs> oh, Mac Daddy. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really named yet. He's, so, like, he's a little slow, and he's green. So. Yeah, you even have your hitch down there. Look oh, at that. Yeah. This will yank a trailer right from, it will yank the, uh, the, the frame right from under the trailer. It's crazy how much power this thing has. You're going to get to see. You'll see. There's nothing like a cyber. <laughs> nothing like a cyber. Okay, so they're, t they're still taking orders. You said, I was asking about, there's a semi-truck that they work on. You said it's yes. been created. Yeah, it's done. Pepsi has some, Frito-Lay has some. But they're 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 doing it in a way where they're building specific routes that the like the most they took the most common route that Tesla or that uh, uh, Frito Lay takes and the most common route that Pepsi takes because of the chargers. Yep, and they built out that network so they could get them doing trips every day in, in a dozen yep. of their trucks. Because you can't use a regular Tesla charging you station. I believe you can, but it's it's so thing. much slower because that so this has 123 kilowatt hours. I think those have like. A thousand, like something uh, yeah. crazy. I, yeah. I don't know exactly the number, but just needs um, a different charge. So yeah. that's basically on the West Coast right now. Correct, and it but is being built out quickly. There could Walmart. Be a semi. It's not someday. It's coming. I mean, over yep. the next year or two. The thing is, is that now that Tesla's opened up their supercharging. I don't know if you know this, but this is some new info. Uh, in the last month, Ford has now gained access to every supercharger in the country, and also Rivian has. Okay. Now, right. while Tesla is 70, 80, 90 percent of the EV market opening that charging network up to part of the reason there's such a big market big market share of the market is that they own the supercharging network yeah. and that is by far the most trusted charging network ever anywhere so now that you've given that access to this ford and rivian all the money that they're taking in for that is going to pay for more chargers you huh. sure you don't work for tesla i should I mean, <laughs> you should but this is <laughs> how do you want to reach out to me i'm ready yeah. you, if i only knew his people yeah <laughs> People call your people. The lines, it does look like a Lamborghini or something. It is. So, there, uh, have you ever, there was a Lamborghini that came out in the 80s or 90s called the LFA. Yeah. You, re you remember that? Yep. The, the, one of the guys on YouTube when this first came out did a review video and he read an excerpt from a, a, a magazine 
that basically described the Cybertruck. Sharp edges, radical design. Everything is said, and then it said, this is an article about the Lamborghini LFA. Oh, gosh. And now and it's just cool that you know, the people, this is geared to so many different types of people for so many different reasons. It's not that one thing. It looks sick. It drives sick. It, it operates, it performs sick. It's just everything about it. Blows, it it's mind blowing. It's beautiful. I love that. I'm all about clean, straight lines. I know. You got them in this. Yeah. You want to go for a ride? I want you guys. I can't wait to see this. Let's go for. I want. I want her to drive because she loves this. No, you both are driving. He doesn't like to drive. (laughs) I like to be chauffeur. He could have be a a chauffeur. He would. Okay, I am so happy. Okay. With how this is. Get on up here because you're gonna have to train her. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, I love how these doors open. You're, you're like riding like... Well, this is easy entry mode. So put <laughs> no, your seatbelt on. There's an easy oh, entry yeah. mode. Yeah. That's what is this? Let's see. So it's now tap the brake. Air, if you need air. That's the air? Yeah. So air conditioners control all with your f- touch of a finger. Wow. I got your cooled seat on now. Cooled seat. Okay, so uh, Look at the- go ahead and on, right, right here, you can adjust the seat to whichever, get, get yourself comfortable. And then we're going to go to the ears. Oh my gosh. It says Drake, somebody adjusted your profile, your seat mm-hmm. profile. Yep. That's well, what's cool about Teslas is so once That's I set it up in this Tesla, vehicle. if I go get another Tesla, it just goes right to my seat. I can't afford it, but my dream car is a Model 3 Performance. The new, the ludicrous. So Tesla's dropped, they just, they're, they're, some leaks have come out of the new performance model. Much car. needed. It's always on. This is it's a, always on. That's mind-boggling on. to it me. Is. Look at that, man. It's a computer. But look at Think this about amazing this. Your phone. Oh. You is know your what? your phone always on? Here's the thing. With this big, huge um, it's a big phone. glass, I was thinking I was going to be sitting in a sauna. This actually feels good. It's not even bad. No, no. and then with the AC, you got a really strong yeah. AC system. Okay, so that's a good analogy. Like my phone, it is yeah. always on. Okay, is that all good? That's all good. Okay, now what? Do you notice something you're missing? Uh yeah, I don't know where. No, to... more than that, there's one more mirror. Oh, where is that mirror? It's on there. So I it's saw gonna it. be right. There's no. Well, way whenever there. you put it in drive, you'll see it. So now. Well, I can't put it in drive. There's no shoosh shoosh. <laughs> so. All you're going to do is put your... So because we're in a weird space, this is one of the few times where you don't get to experience it the right way. Because if you put it... if you, if you Just go ahead and tap the brake, I'll show you. So now you're in drive. But obviously you don't want to go forward. Yeah, there's so, a golf cart. Over there. Yep. So now you're going to put your foot on the brake and just slide, take that right there and slide it down. Oh now you're in reverse. Oh, goodness. Now, sense. as soon as you tap the gas, it's going to... As soon as you let off of the gas, it's going to naturally brake with the regenerative braking. The wheels, or the, the motor is going to naturally slow you down. So you'll feel it's not going to be jerky, but grab the wheel. Now, the, also, the steering, before we go anywhere, I want you to turn the steering wheel all to the right. That's, oh. a, that's a hard right. Now go hard left. There's no more hard turning. You don't have to turn three or four times. I feel so, like I'm like in a go-kart. <laughs> exactly. A really fast one. <laughs> And a bulletproof one, too. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there you go. This oh is crazy. God. So you can see your rear wheels are turning. To, it's Because it's a quad steer vehicle. What? Yeah. Oh, oh it, it is quad steer? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Feel that. I didn't know it was quad steer. Oh, yeah. Backing up a trailer is so easy with this thing. Just I straight pulling a trailer. It's, everything is. So now if you want to go forward, you just slide up. Mm-hmm. There you go. You got a little washer on the re- on the front view camera. All right, yeah. There you go. Oh, it's this so is smooth. Insane. Oh, yeah. Quad steering. Wow. Feel that. Yeah, like that is a... When you need to get out of the way, yeah. it, turns it gets whole. out of the way. My goodness. Like, that... And for something that's this big, it has a turning radius of a, of a medium-sized car. I love how it shows me... Yeah, you, there's no more having to go and grab it. Just turn. Just turn a yeah. little bit. Nice and easy turn. Huh. Everything is on air suspension, so like, we'll, we'll lower us down to low now. But you can feel it as soon as we go high. So this is the way to watch it right here. So you see we're sitting at eight and a half inches right now? Okay. If I raise us up to high, it's going to shoot us up from eight and a half. We'll go up to... Oh, yeah. Like you, you, should, you should be able to feel us going up. Oh yeah, my so we'll nose. go up to 12 and a half, I believe. What's the highest that the? It'll 17 go? inches of clearance. Seriously. Wow. Oh yeah. 
So who's taking one to Moab? My buddy. Uh, so a buddy of mine, Double Cap Crimpin on uh, on X. He, how about this? This is you make it right. He I want, yeah. But where's the blinker? Oh, I forgot to tell you that. That's your buttons right there. Ah, yep. thank you. So he won a Cyber Beast. Not only did he win a Cyber Beast, VIN number twenty. Oh wow! For free from Travis Pastrana and Dana White. Really? Yeah. Him and his mom submitted, and his mom got called for it. What are the odds of that? So he he. And what I do love about it is that he is using it. He took it out to Moab and ran that puppy hard. I I wish I would have gone now after seeing him go. It looked like a lot of fun. How's it feeling? It takes like it takes get minutes used to it. when you let yeah. off that it, it gas. Off. You're oh, yeah. it's like a golf cart or a boat, I mean, probably I'm like a boat maybe. Mm -hmm. Like when you let off. Yeah, but the boat you at least still kind of coast so a little bit. So you didn't put this, the brakes on when you no, let off. No, look, nope. I just let my foot one off. pedal driving. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. like, and I then when you're on a hill, if you come to a stop, it holds you there. Wait, there's no there's brake no, pedal. There's yeah, a brake oh, there's a brake pedal. Brake pedal, but I just let off the gas and we're done. Like we're. Now, when I say, like, don't be afraid to drive. When you get out of here, I want you to feel the power of this car. All right, which way shall we go? I, I would say it. make a right. Okay. You're going to have, you're gonna have push more push a little button. Right. Yeah. Huh? Get straight and give it, I mean, it's not a plaid, but this is, this is you know, it's still a cyber truck. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. It's like you're taking off. <laughs> Like even you just the nose even lifts up oh, like yeah. oh oh this was a bad idea I know it was a bad idea this I didn't buy this for the bad like, idea environmental oh, stuff I bought this because of this goodness this would be fun <laughs> oh, wow yeah. I could just tell it to follow the it, it'll get oh, automatic right. and I'll yeah. just follow that rig right there and then I'll just sit here and take a nap. Not yeah. really, you can't do that. Yeah. So this is constantly... That's constantly, that's your so rearview mirror. See your you could move over there if you like it over there better. Interesting. But I like to have the bigger one. Yeah. Well, yeah, this takes a little bit of gauge, so like, mm -hmm. where, where, where's your gauges? But, yeah, oh my, yeah. oh my. Because at the end of the day, they're looking at that, at, at, as time goes forward, you're going to drive less and less. There's no need to have that extra gauge cluster to block your view because right. you're not going to be using it much longer. The car is going to continue to get better and I didn't better. Have to this tell thing that to is, turn off. No, it, it doesn't off. It, it knew to turn off. This is the Apple of vehicles. It's so responsive. The, the iPhone of vehicles, yeah. Hey, so, so, just like you go to a super I'm an user. No way. <laughs> Yeah, Are you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is. I am not. Get out of my truck. No, <laughs> <laughs> You're an iPhone, I can tell. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh. oh dang. dang. Oh my goodness, I would get in trouble with this. Uh, and <laughs> she don't even and I'm that. calling this thing slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had the plaid? Oh my goodness. Wow. Did you, before you do this? This is all electric. From here down, there's no gear column touching the axle. So all the feedback you're feeling is fake. Oh, really? It's all a, a, it's all a, a, a vibrating motor right there. Look at this. I think Look it's like Look at the a, turning radius. It's like a zero, like one of the... A, zero toner mower. Zero toner lawn mower. Like you just... It's crazy. But you would agree, you feel the road. Oh, yeah. You can... Hunt, that's, but, I still can't get that to click in my head of how they do that. That is the greatest feeling on the planet. <laughs> so we did that you in uh, September of 2020. Netflix. Oh my Tank. goodness! And, uh, oh, there it is, top it is. one. It's got it's you. It's got great. And it's not, so like I said, everything is 48 <laughs> volt. Oh Here gosh, we'll go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> it's from a 48 volt system. Is your sound system? you want to turn yeah it just makes it's the way it, it just is we're so responsive and everybody wants to see what's going on with it just yeah. like you but you got it's funny I, when they pulled in grow i'm like man someone really want up me <laughs> <laughs> i was getting all the attention and then all i saw i come outside whoa well we drove by you and we're like oh that is the coolest thing in here <laughs> interesting so if you were backing up an rv or anything oh, yeah. like that that would be Huge. Easy. I would think that as and as as well as it 
responds turns. and turns. That throw you it could in park. It. I want to show you one. I want to show you something else. Throw it in back park. Here. Just put, put your phone on the brake. Um, so now on this, put your phone on the brake and slide up. It won't automatically shift when you're in off-road mode. Put on the brake. There you go. So it, now it's going to slow. Oh, because in off-road mode, you need to be able to tell it when you want to go. Exactly. That's they awesome. think of all that stuff. Um, also, in off-road mode, I just found this out. You can force on your uh, your well, maybe not in the day. At night, you can force on your auto high beams. Uh, and regular driving, it, you can hold it. You can hit the button, but they won't stay on unless there's no cars in front of you. So right now, you're raising up. You're at 14 inches right now. So you, wow. if you I don't know if you notice that yep. you're sitting up higher. Now, if you stay under 10 miles an hour. You can go up to, st if it's just standard 10 for a second, you can still move, but you'll see we can go up to extract, and we're going to continue to raise up. So this is for when you get in a situation where you need to raise that puppy up. crawl out. over something. Yep. And it goes yep. up more. Wow. Now you'll know there's a major so difference. I would be so scared to scratch it by taking it up and Only over. Only the wrap. The stainless steel is fine. Yeah, and so, yeah. <sighs> The way it's constructed. Can you feel an immediate difference in the way it feels just going up high? Yeah. It's, if, if you even tap that gas, it feels different. Huh. Oh yeah, I feel like we're we're like in more boat. like we're in a we're like in a crawling mode. Yeah, almost. exactly, yeah. exactly. And then if you take it over, go ahead and just do it. Take it over ten miles an hour. It'll automatically now bring us down to the very high. Lowering suspension yeah. based mm -hmm. on the vehicle speed. Interesting. Exactly. So it does it all for you. You, know, you can control your tonneau cover right in here. And when it opens all the way up, you can see out the back. So the tonneau cover is going up? Oh, yeah. You'll see it. Oh, wow. There you go. Well, this matches my new rig very well. Very well. <laughs> very well. Oh, yeah. We just gotta find a way to hook that thing up to the object. <laughs> It'll go just a couple miles to that. <laughs> and this right here. There's a so this is something that comes up big at Tesla a lot. Is there's been accidents and there's there's been a handful of accidents over the millions of Teslas where someone was in the car, it got lit on fire, and they were, they they couldn't get out because of some electrical oh. button. Mm -hmm. The normal door opener right here is this, <laughs> right. and that will thrust. Th this actually has a door thrust, which is a pull right here right. that will it can break through two inches of ice. So if you have in if you have oh, ice wow. on the outside of your car, this will thrust through it. I but put all my weight on if you're in a situation where you lose all power, oh. how, that manually gets you out right now. Yeah, so, so you're not stuck in there. You're never stuck. But the, the, the easy way is to that button right there and just push her out. And I'm going to leave the car on. Yeah, it's we'll running. And then as soon as we get out. It'll shut off? Absolutely. Oh, we're both right up. We're on mine. This is at six, 680. So the last six of the VIN number are 000680. That means that this is the 680th Cybertruck ever built. Um, wow. That's why, like the guy I told you about, he has VIN number 20. But how many of the first hundreds are not are not sold because of testing and all the right, things they've right. done with them? Um, but right. that's my new hobby is going around and checking because also it tells you how many they've built. Yeah. So like I know they've built about 5,500 of them now because I've seen the highest VIN number I've seen is about 5,500. When Tesla did this, they wanted to do everything to be tough. So your feet are gonna burn. That's fun. It's an actual tough truck. If you were to order one right now, by the time you're able to actually get it, this truck is going to start at 52.5, and it's gonna, the, the top of the line spec will be 100,000. This is a limited edition called the Foundation, which is the first run of the like uh, production. I paid 100,000 for the way it sits right here. All right, now this was actually super fun. Yes, thanks for stopping by. I mean, I'm it is crazy. Okay, Drake. Share with them your business again. So if they come to Ocala, they're looking for some RV stuff, things like that. Where where are you at? Village RV. We're across from the drive-in movie theater in Ocala. We're 15 minutes from anywhere. Reach out to us. It's my village RV, not your vill my village RV. No. <laughs> MyvillageRV.com. Uh, and we you have used units. You have new everything. Yeah, we have new used uh, motor homes, travel trailers, fifth wheels. I'm gonna treat you like my I would treat my own family, and I, I, I you know, everybody says that, but I really believe You've in been that. Very cordial. We've never met him. We yeah. just visited when he were we were parking, and then he's like, "You got to see this." So. We've enjoyed this. This yeah, has me been too. Great. I so, for so nice to meet you guys. Yeah, he I, got the tour it. inside the RV. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So especially coming from the RV space, that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing like I've, I've been looking at RVs and been 
in RVs my whole life for the most part. And this is so unique. And this, and anybody who follows you guys knows how in depth yeah. this is. But to see it and put your hands on it and see all the details, it's incredible it's, that you guys came up different. with this. I think that a lot of it was you with the detail. <laughs> I could tell. But hey, come on now, I get the yeah, LED yeah, wall. I get the LED wall. Yeah, that the wall. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. <Jay>. I, <laughs> hey, Mama's gotta be happy. Right? No, here's the thing. We did cover a lot. You can tow. Yes, a hundred percent. You set up to fourteen thousand pounds. Eleven thousand. Now it could tow more, but the yes. rate is eleven. Details, yes. Okay, I just, I'm just curious because I know if somebody's going, could we do it? Could we get one? Yes. Tow our. And some Sheila was like, you could do an airstream with Good. this. Mm -hmm. I have. I've towed an airstream with it. So there's lots of different uses. And it has off-road capabilities. You could do like a black series. You could do an ember. You could do like... And it can power the RV for boondocks. See, there, so we covered yeah. a lot of firsts in yes, this video. Yes. And thank you so much. Thanks thank you guys. Bye. It was nice yeah. to meet you guys. I, I can't I'm wait to see you again. So I'm now sure we we'll say things you like Absolutely. you need to like, comment, subscribe so they yes, can see Yes, comment, things. subscribe. <laughs> do all the things. Do Be a Switch doer of all things. Yes, straight. Yes. You, you learn go. very there quickly. You, go. you, you gotta got do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> with all that being said, thanks for following along. And with that, Sheila, we are... We're out. <laughs>